this is Vicki Romaine with Cheerful Greetings and today we're going to make a card. And this is the card we're going to make. You uh, pull the little flap down in the front and it opens up this way and it has your message. And I have um, used two different shades of blue. These are the verses I used for the card. It's from Our Daily Bread. And one is You Will Find refu Refuge, and the other one is Sing for Joy. So let's see about making our card. This card is very easy to make. Uh, you're going to need two pieces of uh, color of your choice. I choose a lighter and a darker shade each time. In this case, you can see the blues are two different shades and you're going to need um, two pieces of uh, excuse me three pieces of card of white card stock and I'll give you the measurements let's start with the green the green base is four and a fourth by seven and a half and I'll give you all these measurements in the description the um, white piece that goes with it is four by five and a quarter, which is your standard uh, mat uh, size. The little flap is three by eight. And then the one that goes, uh, and you need two of these, and they're two and three fours by three and three fours. So let's start with our card. The first thing, and I have already scored these and pre-folded them so you can, uh, so the video will be a little shorter. Okay, this is my um, four and a quarter by seven and a half. What I have done is added two inches to the base card. So I'm going to fold my card up two inches. And score it down. Next, I'm going to take my larger white piece of cardstock, and it's four by five and a quarter, and I'm going to glue it onto my base. I'm using rubber cement. This is um, Elmer's brand. because I like for my uh, items to stay after they receive, are received um, at the other end and they've gone through the mail. A lot of times glue stick just doesn't stick well. Okay, and we put this on here at the top with a little margin around it. Let me try to slide this up. So we have a nice border around it. Next, what I'm going to do is um, uh, fix my flap. As I say, uh, you'll need two pieces of white for this. Now, before I put the flap together, I'm going to stamp my white pieces. Uh, to put your flap together, you have your um, piece that's um, three by, excuse me, is four and a fourth by five. No, excuse me, my mistake. This is three by eight. This piece is three by eight and it, you fold it in half, which makes it three by four. And then you put it aside. Next, we're gonna stamp our outside. So I'm going to take my um, magnetic board over here, and I've already got my pieces laid out like I want them. I'm using Black Tuxedo Memento Ink, and I'm just going to stamp my two stamps. One is an image, and one is a verse. A sentiment. I put 
put my one piece of white cardstock, which is two and three fourths by th three and three fourths. I'm gonna turn it over. I got a little dab of um, ink smudge on it. So we'll just flip it over and put my magnet on to hold it in the edges. Now I don't have a very large working space, so I need to um, put my magnets where they won't hit the stamp pad. Okay, I got my first pretty well done. Let's get the image. The nice thing about using this board is that you can re-stamp and it'll go to the exact same spot. Okay. Here's my bird. And it says, I will sing and make music with all my soul. And I'm gonna put that on the outside of my flap. Again, I'm going to leave a little border. Okay. Next, we'll take our other white piece. And since I'm trying to do them both at, uh, without moving my stamps, I've placed it over here on this side of my board. Okay, and this verse says, Look at the birds of the air. Your heavenly Father feeds them. Uh, feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? And that is from Matthews. What I'm going to do now. Let's put this on the inside. I send out a lot of cards like this to people in my church. And that's on the inside, that's on the outside of my flap. Next is Glue the flap down. Again, we're going to put a little border around it. Okay. Now, my flap goes over this like this. Take a piece of ribbon. I'm gonna put it around. Oops, put it, start to put it on the wrong side. Put it on the inside of the flap. And I'm just gonna make a um, kind of a knot. 
because I don't think the lacy ribbon will look well as a as a bow. So I'm just going to bring it in here like this. and tie myself a little knot. I don't know if I can find it. Now, this is my card, and I have a suggestion on this card. Um, you see the ribbon down here. When you get ready to mail your card and put it in the envelope, of course the envelope's gonna keep it down, but slide the flap in between the ribbon and the outer flap and pull up on your ribbon. And that will basically hold it down as, as it has a tendency to pull up. And here's your card. And um, as I say, I, I like the little lace on it. I think that looks nice. Um, and it worked out that the bird, you can't see the birds till you pull, pull the flap down. And that's my card for today. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this tutorial please come back and see me again and don't forget to subscribe have a great crafting day bye